Hello everybody, Model Farmer 6710 back here with another video and in today's video uh, I'm going to be unboxing a package that has arrived in the post. Um, the package is a couple of models that I got off Facebook uh, Model Mad group um, for really cheap um, and uh, they're all kind of projects to do up and uh, lovely, uh, I deal with a lovely lad, uh, George and um, yeah, I got the models at a reasonable price. They came in from England and I was after coming in the door this evening and I seen them and uh, yeah, so I said no better way just to unbox them straight away. So I have the tripod set up, I have the box set up, so let's get into it. We have some lovely looking models in there and then we have a couple of better ones but are for a project. So let's have a look. So guys, um, here we have the box. Uh, I took off my address and all, uh, but uh, it's a very heavy box, uh, so yeah, we're going to get into it, uh, I apologise for my knife, I didn't have a smaller one uh, that wouldn't cut this, but uh, be careful guys when you're, uh, when you are cutting your box open, because I do not want to cut myself, and uh, yeah, just be careful, and uh, when you are cutting, uh, make sure you're Cutting a safe distance from yourself. So. We should be nearly in. Yeah, and I was very happy to find these on uh, on the Facebook group chat, Model Mad. Um, it's a very good group. I'd highly recommend anyone who's trying to get into uh, model farming to give Model Mad, uh, the Facebook group, uh, a good shout. Um. I, 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 I'm very happy since I joined. People uh, put in daily. They put in stuff daily and very good um, for buying little models and everything. You'll see my finds here. So we have a bit of packaging. I've never seen that packaging before, but it looks to be well packed. And I love when people do that as it you know, protects the models. And you can always reuse your packaging when you're selling your own models. Right, so... Kicking it off, I'll just show you as a sneak peek. So, uh, George has kindly thrown in a couple of, um, he's thrown in a couple of uh, models for free. So, I'll just unbox, uh, I'll just, sorry about that. Uh, right, starting off, uh, he has kindly thrown in a little trailer. Uh, you could put it on the back of a quad, put it on anything. Uh, it's, it's cool to have. Um, not much you can say on it other than it's a trailer, <laughs> but he kindly threw, threw, that, threw that in. Right, I think I already know what this is, and judging you guys can see the bonnet. Um, now, this is not, I actually don't know what make this is, and you're probably going to laugh at this, but sure how and ever. This is a case 2294, I'll just hold it so you can actually see it. And this is a hard enough find when it comes to models. You wouldn't see anyone with it. And my ideas with this is Universal Hobbies have a case uh, 1495 in a David Brown version. Uh, this colour with the black and white case. And then they have the red and black case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, the case 1494. Um, I'm trying to source a cab for it. I'm going to put a cab on it, uh, paint it up, uh, put lovely new tyres on her, and um, the st steering isn't the best now because um, I was looking at it in the photos. But other than that, it's a t 22.94. It's a big American yoke. You it, you wouldn't really see them, uh, but they're hard to find uh, in model form. And once I have this decked out, the exhaust and everything... This is going to be a sweet model and I can already tell because the frame is beautiful. All I need is paint and this is just proven. You can get any, the cheapest model out there and you can make it into the best model just with a couple of smackaroonies and put it together, that's all. Now, the first thing that's popping up is a, li a little quad and he's kindly after throwing this in as well. Uh, I, he's thrown in a couple of stuff as he knows the channel and... George, he was a very good man to deal with, and I'll give his, I'll give him a shout out at the end with his socials. So yeah, it's lovely quad. Throw it on the trailer. 
So we have another quad, the red quad this time. So they're slightly damaged, but uh, there's nothing wrong. You can have it in a dealership or anything. Now this is where it's gonna get good. I can already see a big yellow. You can tell what it is. It's a lovely, it's a transit van. Now these transit vans are probably making around 45 euro uh, in Ireland. They are hard to get, uh, but the only problem with this one is has no back doors and there's a little bit of uh, giving it. Uh, just once I fix it up and I'm going to get 3D printed doors, I'm going to get them made for it and that's all it needs. The bumper is cracked at the front and sure you could fix that up, no bother. Uh, I got this very cheap, um, George done a very good deal and yeah, I'm going to do this up. It's a lovely model because it still has everything... Uh, you can tell that it was played with when he was uh, when the first owner was uh, young, but uh, it's still a very very good looking model. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, other the part, the back door, and the bumper, and a bit of paint should sort that model out. Lovely. So, let's move on. Another thing that's just popping up out of nowhere <laughs> is this little lawnmower. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I ha kind of have a lawnmower. It's grey and it's kind of in the same shape as that. So that's kind of cool to have. Let's kick in. Oh, now. This is where it's getting good. I've gotten two of these Masseys. And uh, these Masseys, all they need, the, uh, the cab, I need to get the top bit of the cab. And just a lick of paint should have this model looking lovely. There's actually nothing wrong with this model, just looking at it. Stickers are 100%. The back linkage needs a bit of work. But other than that, you throw this on a baler and she is going to be looking sweet. She's a 362, I believe. Yeah, 362. And that is going to be looking nice. I'll show you them all lined up now in a minute. Once we have them all unboxed. Now we have, yeah, we have the second one, which this one's a cream. A cream colour uh, and all it needs is the silver paint it's a 362 again and as you can see the turning lock it's <laughs> that's not how wheels turn in real life so I'm gonna be sorting that out making it look realistic fixing up everything and the, she's just, I'm just gonna give her a respray so this is gonna be a lovely few modification series I'm gonna tie in a couple together and he looks like he's after throwing in something um, has thrown in a small square baler. That's that's very nice. Uh, I, I, I actually uh, have one of these. I already have one of these. And I believe uh, Stephen, he, he, he was on the hunt for one. And I might give this to him for his model farm. As uh, I already have a little Massey one. And it's, all it needs is stickers. And it should be good to go. So that's a lovely, that's a lovely uh, gift he sent, sent us with that. Bring out a bit of the packaging. And, oh, and this is probably one of the best. My favourite models. I really wanted this one. Now, this needs a bit of work. As you can tell. The cab, the clips are gone on the cab. It's, uh, I believe it's it's a 6600 or uh, a 7600. I'll have to see now. But basically... Uh, there's a bit of paint on the wheels, and yeah, as I was presuming, uh, it's scrapable off. I'm going to tidy her up, I'm going to paint her up. Uh, the cab is a bit... Uh, nothing's really damaged, it's just the paint that he might have went mad when it, anyone would have went mad. Uh, Stephen has done it himself, um, and he's went mad, and he weathered everything. And There you can see a bit of white paint dripped off the mud guards and everything when he was spray painting it, so... This would be lovely once it's done up. Uh, these are actually going for a lot of money, so it'd be actually nice to have one done up on the farm. And the linkage is actually looking in really good condition. And even when you take off the cab, it's still a fabulous model. It just needs stickers and the paint job, and she should be uh, 100%. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that model. Um, oh, we also have another thing. Oh, he's thrown in... <laughs> Yet again, another little uh, item. 
So he's thrown in a yard scraper. I was actually on the hunt for one of these. And uh, I couldn't find one. And sure look, he's after throwing one in. So thanks very much, George. You've been very nice with throwing a couple of stuff in there. And yes, this is a lovely thing. I was on the hunt for this, actually. A mini digger. A lovely mini digger that fits in a lovely Eiffel Williams trailer maybe um, uh, just to fit in the back of it and to um, I come from uh, my mom and dad are landscapers so I would actually you see these diggers a lot and you see Eiffel Williams and vans and everything a lot so it's nice just to have on the model farm a couple of landscapers as you know uh, it kind of brings back um, it kind of uh, you can relate to it a lot. And then this brings me on to my other thing, as as, as talking to Ifer, about Ivor Williams trailers. This, I believe, is a Britain's one, and the sideboards were put on. Uh, I think they were, um, yeah, uh, oh, it's, yeah, it's an Arthur, so it's Britain's. Uh, and yeah, it's just, all it needs is the paint, and um, she just needs to be cleaned up, and I think the digger, yeah, digger, sits in lovely digger fits in lovely nothing wrong with her uh, and you'll be able to throw that behind the transit and then I think this will be the last thing on sorry guys it just cut out on me there I apologise for that um, as I was saying uh, just the uh, Eiffel Williams and the uh, digger uh, my, as my parents are gardeners and I just love I was on the hunt for a mini digger and the Eiffel Williams is lovely to have as well as there's not many, you, you don't come across many, um, and yeah, it's it'd be lovely to have, I can't wait to get it on the Stephen's big 132 uh, scale model farm in this week's uh, Sunday episode, and then we have um, a lovely tipper, we have a transit tipper, which would be big in the industry as well, um, uh, you see them a lot on the road, and just the tailgate, the just uh, the screws two screws are missing and that's all it needs and uh, i just need to get two mirrors for it um but oh uh, this is a beautiful model these are going these are hard to get as well they're uh, vintage britons um and they're the old style transits as well um I, I i just can't wait to get these on the um on steven's model farm and when i'm building my farm and uh, when it's done i can't wait to show them on that as well this uh, I think that's it, it is it, uh, there's the Eiffel Williams, and there's nothing left, uh, thanks very much George, um, with all the models, and I'll show you all the models, so guys, thanks very much for watching, it's been a lovely episode, um, these models have, I'm very happy buying these models off George, and he threw in a couple nice stuff there, and I'll leave uh, his Facebook uh, in the description, and uh, yeah, Thanks very much for watching and you'll see these models coming up in the future um, modification series. Uh, you might see a T7 next week and then you'll see maybe the Massey's first and then the Ford and see so I have to source all the parts for the case. But thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.